Because you're doing well with your church attendance. You involved in our church stuff. But the main thing, you've left on the ship. And that's the gospel. So you're looking good. But really not doing good. Whatever there's a shortage of the gospel, there will be a shortage of faith and confidence in both God and the believer. And if there's a shortage of confidence and faith, the outcome will always come up short. Come on. The gospel must be declared. It must be. See, when the gospel is declared, it will increase your faith that Jesus is able to bring you through anything and everything, and he will empower you as a believer that you have the ability to go through anything. Oh, I dare you to give God praise for the last thing you went through. I dare you to give God thank you for showing me that I'm as good to go through that. Sickness came, I went through it. Depression came, I went through it. Layoff came, I went through it. Well, the loved one, I went through it. Someone quit me, hated me, dropped me, but I went through it. I dare you to give God thank you for sending me through that to let me know that I have the ability to go through it. That the gospel was activated. I, I, I don't want to scare out the business, but, 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 but when you walk through that door, you put yourself in position to be attacked. Yeah. Because the enemy does not want you to be grounded in the gospel. Because if you're grounded in the gospel, your roots are strong enough to go through anything and everything. But no matter what the devil throws at you, you won't surrender, you won't throw in the towel, you won't become a whiner and a complainer. You'll become the next testimony of look what To Job chapter 14. Job chapter 14. We'll be all on the Bible this morning. Job chapter 14. Verse 1. Jesus. Man who was born of woman, as all of us, live only a short time and is full of trouble. Uh, first of all, I have to read it again and again. And that's Man is born for a few days. But the Bible says those days are full of trouble. We're only here for a little while. But during that little while, we got to go through a whole lot. See, in, in life, we will all experience and encounter trouble, hardships, storms, hurdles, and difficult situations. No matter who we are, we cannot escape the reality that bad news exists. I'm not going to fool you and trick you and tell you that when you become a member of this church, you start hanging around the greenhouse, the place, you go to grow to reach your full potential, that bad news does not exist. No matter how anointed, no matter how appointed, no matter how gifted, no matter how talented you are, life will bring some issues, life will bring some stuff. But the good news is if you got the gospel in your life, if you're really grounded in the gospel, when hardships come, you get harder. When hurdles come, you leap over hurdles. When you got the gospel, you're able to go through it and keep on shining. You're able to go through it and keep on declaring what a God I serve. The nightly news could be renamed the nightly bad but my grandparents' generation had this saying, DJ. If it ain't one thing, it's not. But my grandparents' generation also had the gospel. So the suicide rate was low. Come on. It amazed me that, 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 that now we become so weak and soft that we, we, we give up and everybody now has been diagnosed with something. Yeah. And don't get me don't get me wrong, don't get me wrong. You need both Jesus and a therapist, some of you. Yes, sir. 
Yeah. Yeah, that's why, but this is thing on my schedule is counseling to help people through life situations. But in the midst of counseling and therapy and medication and all of that, you better make sure your life, your marriage, your career, your education, your mental state of being is grounded in the gospel. Yeah. That's the only thing that will keep you when a storm breaks. Yeah. homes and restoring their lives and many of those people who have just got it back right. Just, just, just finally got the carpet back down and finally got the sheet box painted and finally got the pictures back on the wall and all of a sudden it starts raining again. And a tropical storm comes and rocks the world. I just got
but the gospel declares. Yes, no weapon falls against you. The gospel declares that, that, that God is able. The gospel declares that when David got to a giant, that God empowered him to take out the giant. I dare you to reach inside of you and get enough. Who shall we fear? Glory to God this morning. Yes. Oh God, oh God. Will allow you to walk through stuff. Yes, Whose purpose will take you out. Yes, if you do understand something, the devil has a strategic plan and strategy. Yes. He's been examining you since you came out your mother's womb. Yes. 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 Exactly. He has a detailed agenda yes. to take you out. But when you get in the gospel, every assignment of the devil is void because you walk through the power. That's why you're still here. That's why you're still standing. Because the devil assigned to take you out, but God brought you through. That's why you're standing. Not because you're cute, not because you're smart, not because you're crafty. You're standing because God has the gospel assigned to you. The gospel. The good news. The Equips us yeah. with strength to overcome. Yes. And succeed in the face of adversity. Yes. Yes. The gospel equips you. Yes. And strengthens you. Yes. But you gotta stay in it long enough. Yes. so immature and impatient. We can't wait for the meal to be cooked. My granny was starting Saturday morning and she started preparing Sunday's meal. And midday Saturday you start smelling something that smells like Sunday's meal. But it wasn't ready yet. You go in the kitchen you touch my pockets. It's not ready yet. Well, the modern day believer get up on Sunday morning with no one in the house. Oh. Drive through the drive through with us. Help us! Help us! It's time for us to sit and be still. Yeah. And sit under the gospel yeah. to make sure that when something breaks out, you won't break out. I'm tired of seeing folks shout on Sunday and give it up on Monday. Because your shout must have been based on the gospel if you quit that back. The gospel is designed to encourage us to keep going in the midst of it all. I keep smiling because I have no worry in me. To keep smiling, to keep smiling, to keep smiling. Preach this, save this, write this down. Right. It's in your spirit. Stop coming to church to be entertained. Yes. Yes. Looking for a feel oh, good. Feel it. Yes. Yes. That will only keep you temporary. Oh, oh, I'm a day. You get high to come low. Yes. But when you start coming to church to experience an encounter, yes. Yes. it keep you to watch. She looks so spiritual. He, he looks so anointed. But looks can be deceiving. Yes. 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 So if you're looking for somebody to, who, who they make me feel so good today. But was the gospel. Oh Inserting your spirit. Oh that when things not going so good, yes. you stick it back. You can with still it. You can weather yourself. I love, I love champions. But that was a champion that got knocked down and got back up again. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. This week we've been married 20 years. Say, Pastor, my wife told me she don't want to be married no more. That it's over. She don't want to talk to me. And I said, Brother, listen, do you like football? He said, Yes, sir. I said, Last year, who won the Super Bowl? He said, New England. I said, Did win every game? He said, No, sir. You experience some losses along the way, but the awful prize is for those who stay in the game. And I dare you to make your mind up, no matter how many L's you take, no matter how many L's you experience, to get back up and keep 
Christ trying to teach the Bible. On my way ahead. Matthew chapter 9. Oh my God. Jesus this morning. Turn there, Matthew chapter 9. Chapter 9, verse 35. I'm almost done. Yes. Jesus went through all the towns yeah. and the villages. Yes, sir. Teaching in the synagogues. Yes, Lord. Proclaiming the or declaring the good news, good news. Yes. of the kingdom. Yes. And healing every disease and sickness. Yes, sir. With the crowds he had. When the crowds, when he saw the crowds, he had compassion on them. Yes. Because they were harassed and helpless like sheep without a shepherd. Yes. Then he said to his disciples, those who were following him, the harvest is plentiful, yes. but the workers are laborers of few. Yes. Ask the Lord of the harvest, therefore, to send out workers into the harvest. Yes. 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 See, the gospel must be declared with compassion. Yes. If we're Christ like him, Christ declared the gospel with compassion. Jesus first assessed the situation. Yes. The problem the church has there is they spill to discernment. Yes. And we have been still long enough to hear from God. Yes. So we quit to the trigger. Mm -hmm. And we, we wounded a lot of people. Because we were immature. Yes. In the things of God. So we miss how God is most precious. Yes. No one should come to church and leave worse. Yes. So Jesus identified and assessed the situation. Yes. And his assessment, he realized this crowd is full of people oh who've been harassed wow. and left feeling in helpless. I was a little distant this morning because my phone is like the hood 911. My brand all up, we were going to get something to eat, and, and my phone rang, and there was a lady on the phone saying, somebody gave me your number. Because me and my kids have nowhere to go. We have no clothes. Everything I own now is the Baptist car. Somebody said, just can you give us some food, sir? And I was on my side of town. So I said, I can't right now, I'm sorry. Mm. But I promise you, as soon as I get back to Greenspoint, I'll find you, and you can find me, and I'm gonna show you okay. And I said, like, Richard, I'm sorry. My friend say, I'm like, you're telling people you're sorry. I said, well, because when God plays a sign on my life, yeah. I don't have no 95. When the phone rang, I got yeah. she, she swear with my mom, she said, but, when God gave you a sign, He also gave you a family. Yes. And sometimes you gotta let God be God. Yes. 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 All right. All right. I couldn't fuss. Yeah. I said, eat, eat, eat your food. <laughs> so I went home and I prayed to God. Yes. Give me the ability. To buy land and build it, I did not build. So people that's transitional homeless cannot run to me, but run to this place that you prepared. Because ministry must be done with compassion. And I don't care how nice my house is and how good a family it may be at this moment if we're not concerned about the last day we've been Thank you. Come on. And this is a diaper to own the church. We got too many mean, evil, nasty folks talking about their anointing and you're hurting folks. You have no compassion. Jesus says, with compassion, I deliver the gospel. Yes. 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 And I've seen this verse over and over again. I've even used it to recruit workers in church. I pray the workshop, but this was the text to recruit people working in church. And the Spirit said this morning, you missed it. God is not saying, I need more workers. He said, I need more compassionate workers. You mean, thank you, Holy Spirit, now You mean, but people, because you now eat good. Jesus. Jesus. You the spirit of compassion. You like that pastor call folks, them folks? Who the heck you think? Who are them folks? Them folks just like you. Look in the mirror. Ain't no them folks. Jesus is filled with compassion. Yeah. Yeah. Come on now. Yeah. 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 
for the work of ministry. They're right in the room. They bring them low, that's the building though. It enables us to have a place to do ministry. This is week four of this month. I need to make sure, hear me clearly, hear me clearly, hear me clearly. Before we leave today, I mean, this, this is not a suggestion, this is not a hope you will to say we must. I need everyone you can, at least a hundred of us, to grab that green and blue and put a hundred dollar building note C in there so we can take care of our building note this month and we still operating in last month's note. So please, a hundred of you at least, that bring them below. So I'll see you at least a hundred dollars on today, not night later, but today. And why don't know that's your tithe and your offering. So listen, this is what's about to happen. I'm trusting you to be right, but you give, this is what's about to happen. If you're here on this morning, the money will be in there, your souls are being saved. Your lives are not being changed. Hear me, please. If you're here this morning and you're like a sheep without a shepherd, you've been harassed, you've been left alone, you've been uncovered, unprotected, and you feel like throwing in the towel, you feel like surrendering, you feel like giving up, come to this altar right now. Come to this place of healing, to this place of deliverance. Come to this altar where the gospel has been declared, where prayers have been prayed, where breakthroughs have been produced. I, I need you right now to look up and down your road and ask somebody, can I walk you down the aisle? It's not a joke. This is not just so the church can grow, but, but we really want you in position in the gospel. You can be healed. You can be delivered. You can be set free. You can be on your way to your place of production if you're here this morning and you're going through all hell you're here this morning and you're sick and tired of being sick and tired you feel all alone you feel like there's no hope come to this altar now come to this altar come now come just that don't worry about getting him together don't worry about getting split come to this altar now male female boy girl wife Black, rich, poor, it doesn't matter if you feel like you're losing this thing called life, you feel like the struggle is too hard, and you want to connect back with God, you want to connect with a church that will love you and care for you and push you in your forward future. You should hear the praise with you and for you who wants to come down to this home.